welcome students today we are going to throw light on sex chromosomes first of all what are chromosomes chromosomes are tiny thread like structures found in the nucleus of a cell that store and transmit the coded information which is responsible for all the life processes of an organism thus chromosomes are commonly known as carriers of heredity chromosomes have two main functions number 1 to ensure that the dna is segregated equally to daughter nuclei at cell division and number 2 to ensure that integrity of the genome is maintained and accurately replicated in each cell cycle types of chromosomes two types of chromosomes were recognized number 1 autosomes and number 2 sex chromosomes now what are autosomes and sex chromosomes the chromosomes which have no relation with the sex and contain the genes which determine the somatic characters of the individual are known as autosomes the chromosomes which are responsible for the determination of sex are known as sex chromosomes for example x and y chromosomes sex chromosomes are thus the chromosomes within a cell that determine the sex of an organism in all organism cells with the exception of the sperm and eggs and the gametophyte generation in plants chromosomes are arranged in pairs called homologous pairs each chromosome in the homologous pair comes from a different parent a cell that has both chromosomes of each homologous pair is a diploid cell in the human body diploid cells have 46 chromosomes arranged in 23 homologous pairs in humans each diploid cell has two sex chromosomes that make up one of the 23 homologous pairs of chromosomes the x chromosome is larger than the y chromosome and therefore has spaces for genes that are not present on y chromosome in humans and many other species the sex chromosomes of females are identical females have two x chromosomes symbolized as x x males have one x chromosome and one y chromosome symbolized as x y in birds moths and butterflies the sex chromosomes are reversed males are x x and females are x y in some insects the y chromosome is absent thus a female would be x x but a male would be x 0 the 0 indicates that the y chromosome is absent the sex of an individual is determined at the time of fertilization when the male's sperm joins with the female's egg because all human females cells have two x chromosomes when the egg forms by meiosis it must contain an x chromosome however since all human male cells have both an x and a y chromosome when the sperm forms by meiosis they can contain either x chromosome or y chromosome thus during fertilization the eggs always contribute an x chromosome and the sperm can contribute either an x or a y chromosome if the sperm has an x chromosome the resulting offspring will have two x chromosomes and will be a female x x if on the other hand the sperm contributes a y chromosome the zygote that forms a result of fertilization will have one x and one y chromosome and will be 
a male, X, Y. In humans and many other species, it is the male that is responsible for the determination of sex of the offspring, depending on which sex chromosome he contributes in his sperm. Now, discovery of sex chromosomes. In sexually dimorphic dioecious organisms, besides morphological and behavioral differences between both sexes, the sexual diversity also occurs at the level of chromosomes. The chromosomal differences between the sexes of several dioecious species were found earlier in the course of cytological investigations. A German biologist, Henking, in 1891, while studying spermatogenesis of the squash bug, Pyrochoris, noted that meiotic nuclei contained 11 pairs of chromosomes and an unpaired element is moved to one of the poles during the first meiotic division. Henking called this unpaired element as X body and interpreted it as a nucleolus. The significance of X body was not immediately understood, but in 1902, an American geneticist, McClung, who had made extensive observations of gametogenesis in Grasshopper suggested that the X body was involved in some way with the determination of sex. He reported that somatic cells of the female grasshopper contained 24 chromosomes, while as those of the male had only 23. He demonstrated that karyotype of a cell is composed not only of common chromosomes, but also of one or more special chromosomes that are distinguished from the autosomes by their morphological characteristics and behavior. These were called accessory chromosomes, allosomes, heterochromosomes or sex chromosomes. In 1905, Edmond Wilson noted that females of Proteanor, a hemipteran bug, has seven pairs of chromosomes, while as males have six pairs and an unpaired chromosome, which he called the X chromosome. The X and Y chromosomes were first discovered in beetles by Nettie Steams in 1906. She notes it that cells of female beetles had identical looking pairs of each of their several chromosomes and is known as homomorphic, but that male Beetles had one pair in which the chromosomes were very different in appearance from each other and is known as heteromorphic. She called these two chromosomes the X and the Y and found that female beetles differed from males in containing two X chromosomes. Steams found a similar situation in Drosophila melanogaster which has four pairs of chromosomes with one of the pairs being heteromorphic in nature. Likewise, Stevens and Wilson, while working with the milkweed bug Ligias tersicus, found same number of chromosomes in both sexes. In females, all chromosomes were paired and the homologous were equal in size. In the male, all the chromosomes were paired, but the chromosomes identified as the homologue to the X chromosome was distinctly smaller than Y chromosome. Now, we will discuss structure of sex chromosomes. The X and Y chromosomes exhibit structural differences. The cytological studies have shown that the X chromosome of most organisms are straight, rod and comparatively larger than Y chromosomes. The Y chromosome is smaller in size with one end slightly curved or bent to one side in Drosophila. In man and Melendrum, no such curvature of Y chromosome occurs. The X chromosome has large amount of euchromatin and small amounts of heterochromatin. The euchromatin has large 
amount of DNA material, much genetic information. The Y chromosome contains small amounts of euchromatin and large amounts of heterochromatin. The Y chromosome has little amount of genetic information. Therefore, sometimes it is referred to as genetically inert or inactive. The majority of organisms have a pair of sex chromosomes which in the course of evolution have been specialized for sex determination. The chromosomal sex determining mechanism evolved very early in vertebrate evolution, probably more than 300 million years ago. It is thought that the distinct ZW and XY chromosome pairs may have resulted from restrictions in the recombination of homologous chromosomes. The condensation of certain regions of the chromosome probably led to the deterioration of major genes in the Y and W chromosomes, leaving the alleles intact in the X and Z chromosomes. Such an alteration could have resulted from the production of repeated sequences with the generation of satellite DNA. Sex refers to contrasting characters exhibited by male and female individuals or organs within the same species. The sex of an individual can be determined at several levels. Unicellular organisms can have simple systems for sex determination, but multicellular species differ greatly in the strategies for generating sex difference determination and differentiation of sex are concerned with the factors responsible for making an individual male, female or hermaphrodite. The mechanisms of sex determination are essentially similar in both plants and animals, which were classified by earlier biologists into several groups like chromosomal, genic, hormonal, environmental and nutritional. The structure and number of sex chromosomes vary in different organisms. In the fruit fly Drosophila, females are XX homomorphic and the males are XY heteromorphic as in humans and most other vertebrates. However, in birds, the males have two Z chromosomes and the females have a Z and a W chromosome. In some insects such as grasshopper, there is no Y chromosome. Females are XX and males are characterized as X0. The zero indicates the absence of a chromosome. In other vertebrates and certain invertebrates, the female is heterogametic and the male homogametic. For example, in birds and reptiles, it is the female that has the heterozygous ZW pair of chromosomes. In some animals, the sex chromosomes can't be distinguished from the others. In such cases, the sex determining genes are confined to a region in a pair of chromosome. The X and Y chromosomes in humans are also very different in appearance, with the X chromosome being considerably larger than the Y. With the exception of only about 9 shared genes, the X and Y chromosomes do not contain the same genes unlike the other 22 pairs of human chromosomes in which members of a pair share all the same genes. The Y chromosome contains the genes for determining a male pattern of development and in the absence of a Y chromosome an embryo will follow a female pattern of development. In the humans, the Y chromosome contains an essential testes determining factor and determines the male sex. Sex chromosomes have been identified in a number of plants, but detailed study has been done in Malindrum and Coccinia. Here the sex chromosomes are homomorphic XX in females and heteromorphic XY in males. In melindrum, 
which follows the xy mode of sex determination it has been shown that sex is determined by a balance between male determining genes on the y and female determining genes on the x and on the autosomes in this plant which is normally dioecious xy individuals are staminate that is pollen bearing and xx plants are pistillate that is egg bearing the y chromosome is the largest and most conspicuous member of the complement the sex in diploid triploid and tetraploid plants having different doses of x and with or without y chromosomes has been studied irrespective of the number of x chromosomes presence of single y chromosome causes a male individual the different segments of y and x chromosomes have been identified which control the different stages of development of sex organs the x and y chromosomes have a common segment four which helps in pairing and regular disjunction of x and y chromosomes during meiosis the remainder of y chromosome has three segments suppressing femaleness initiating anther development and controlling late stage of anther development the x chromosomes has a differential segment 5 which promotes femaleness in absence of female suppressing segment 1 on y chromosome the sex of an individual is determined by which paternal sex chromosome x or y is inherited at fertilization eggs and sperm as a reproductive cells each contain only one of the two sex chromosomes as a result of having undergone meiosis a form of cell division that produces daughter cells containing only one member of each chromosome pair all eggs therefore contain an x chromosome but half of sperm will contain an x chromosome and the other half a y chromosome if an egg is fertilized by a sperm carrying an x chromosome xx or female embryo will result while fertilization of the eggs by a y bearing sperm will produce an xy or male embryo in some organisms including birds the female contains the unlike pair of sex chromosomes thus in these cases the mother determines the sex of the offspring now what is dosage compensation since cells in a male contain a single x chromosome and cells in a female contain two x chromosomes females contain twice as many copies of the genes as on the x chromosome per cell as do males to equalize the dosage of x chromosomes genes between the two sexes one of the two x chromosome in each cell of all female mammals is inactivated early in embryonic development by becoming very tightly wound up or condensed most of the genes on the condensed x chromosome can't be expressed since males carry only one copy of each x linked gene they are much more likely to suffer from disease if they inherit a defective gene x linked disorders include some formation of color blindness dachin's muscular dystrophy and some types of hemophilia the inactivation of an x chromosome in the cells of a developing female embryo occurs randomly so that about half of the cells express the genes in one x chromosome and half express the genes in the other x chromosome once a particular x chromosome has been inactivated in a cell it will remain inactivated in all of the descendants of that cell if a female mammal has different forms or alleles of a particular gene on each of her two x chromosomes then about half of her cells will express one of the alleles and about half the uh, other alleles an example of such a genetic mosaic is 
a calico cat carrying an allele for orange for color on one X chromosome and an allele for black fur color on the other X chromosome. The result is a characteristic coat of mottled orange and black patches of fur. Since this type of genetic mosaicism requires the presence of two X chromosomes, calico cats are normally always female. Chromosomes are ordinarily visible under a microscope only when the cell is dividing. However, when non-dividing cells are treated with strains that bind to chromosomes, a darkly stained body is visible in the nuclei of the cell from females but not in cells from normal males. This body is actually the condensed X chromosome and it is called a bar body. After it is discovered, Murray Bar. In 1961, Mary Lyon proposed that the condensation of the X chromosome into a bar body was a mechanism for inactivating the genes on the chromosome. This is called the Lyon hypothesis in her honor. The Lyon hypothesis suggests that in the XX mouse and human females, one X chromosome is genetically inactive after a certain stage in embryogenesis that this inactive X chromosome forms the bar body which can be identified at about the 16th day in the human embryo and it is a random proposition which of the two X chromosomes in a given cell becomes the genetically inactive one. Once it is decided which X chromosome is to be the genetically inactive one in a given cell all descendants of the cell abide by the decision and have the same X chromosomes inactive and that the germ cell lines does not participate in this process of X chromosome differentiation. The hypothesis suggests a mechanism of dosage compensation for the excess genetic material and of the observed phenotypic variability in female heterozygous for X born recessive mutations. The presence or absence of a bar body in cells is used in medical and criminal forensics to determine the legally defined the sex of an individual. Now we will discuss numerical abnormalities of X and Y chromosomes. Number one is Klinefelter syndrome. Klinefelter syndrome is caused by the presence of one or more copies of the X chromosome in males. Extra genetic material from the X chromosome interferes with male sexual development, preventing the testicles from functioning normally and reducing the levels of testosterone. Males with Klinefelter syndrome typically have one extra copy of the X chromosome in each cell for a total of two X chromosomes and one Y chromosome that is 47 X X Y. It is less common for males to have two or three extra X chromosomes for example 48 X X X Y or 49 X X X, X, Y or extra copies of both the X and Y chromosomes for example 48 X, X, Y, Y in each cell. The extra genetic material may lead to tall stature, learning and reading disabilities and other medical problems. When additional X and or Y chromosomes are present in 48 X, 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 Y or 48 X, X, Y, Y or 49 X, 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 Y, developmental delays and cognitive difficulties can be more severe and mild intellectual disability may be present. Triple X syndrome also called 47 X, X, X or trisomy X is caused due to an extra copy of X chromosome in females. 
females with trisomy have three X chromosomes for a total of 47 chromosomes per cell. Their stature on average is taller than normal females. They are fertile and their children do not inherit the condition. Females with more than one copy of X chromosome 48 X X X X syndrome or 49 X X X X X syndrome have been identified but these conditions are rare. Number 2 is Turner syndrome. This results when a female cell has one normal X chromosome and the other sex chromosome is missing or altered. The missing genetic material affects development and causes the features of the condition including short stature and infertility. About half of individuals with Turner syndrome have monosomy X that is 45 X which means each cell in a woman's body has only one copy of the X chromosome instead of the usual two copies. Turner syndrome can also occur in one of the sex chromosomes is partially missing or rearranged rather than completely missing. Some women with Turner syndrome have a chromosomal change in only some of their cells. These cases are called Turner syndrome mosaics. For example, 45X or 46XX. Now, what is the significance of sex chromosomes? The unusual ploidy level and pattern of inheritance imply that sex chromosomes play a unique role in many biological processes and phenomena including sex determination, epigenetic chromosome wide regulation of gene expression, the distribution of genes in the genome, genomic conflict, local adaptation and speciation. Dear students, this is all about sex determination. Now to sum up, sex chromosomes are the chromosomes within a cell that determine the sex of an organism. There are two types of sex chromosomes, the X chromosome and the Y chromosome. One of the sex is heterozygous and other is homozygous. Upon fertilization, the result is 50% males and 50% females. In most cases, a pair of sex chromosomes is involved in sex determination. For example, XX in females, XY or X0 in males. In the humans and most mammals, the male character is determined by the Y chromosome. Sex chromosomes have a homologous region in which recombination may occur and a differential region that is related to sex determination. X chromatin that is sex chromatin or the bar body is a small chromatin body observed in the interface nucleus of females and has a medical application in the diagnosis of intersexual stages. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.